with a special edition of RCN News. I'm Brian Andrews in Bogota. The entire country celebrating the release of 15 hostages held for years in the jungle by the FARC. Thursday afternoon, the Colombian military commander who oversaw the operation to free the captives held a news conference in Bogota. He was discussing details of the operation, and he showed off the two FARC rebels who were captured during the operation. We also heard from former Colombian presidential candidate Ingrid Betancourt, one of the 15 hostages freed, who shared new details about her time in captivity. On the RCN primetime news program La Noche, Betancourt talked about her time in captivity and some of the extraordinary lengths to which she went to be able to stay healthy and alive. Are you negocio sordido? There was a sordid business with medicines. Con la, con los medicamentos. Many times they demand us cigarettes as a payment for the medicines that they have, or sometimes they even force us to work for those medicines. Um, and that is the reason because I started smoking in the jungle. Now let's look back at the events of Wednesday, July 2nd, an historic day in Colombia. These are the very first images of the hostages and their freedom, taken at a Colombian military base in Tolima. First off the plane, Ingrid Betancourt. We later saw her on the tarmac in tears, talking to her mother for the very first time on a cell phone. Betancourt came off that plane with 11 other Colombian military and police hostages who were rescued in the Wednesday operation. And three American defense contractors, also held in the jungle for more than half a decade after guerrillas shot down their plane during a counter-narcotics mission. You can see them here with the United States Ambassador to Colombia, William Brownsfield, making their way to another aircraft for the flight back to the United States. An hour later, Colombia and the world watched as Betancourt stepped off a military plane at Bogota's Catam Air Base, walked down the steps and into the arms of her mother. It was a beautiful reunion that left many here and around the world in tears because of the powerful emotion of the moment. Emotion that continued 24 hours later at that very same airbase when Ingrid Betancourt was reunited with her children. Brushing back tears, Ingrid Betancourt watched as the French version of Air Force One, the jet used by French President Nicolas Sarkozy, taxied into place. In the window, you could see her two children, Lorenzo and Melanie, waving. Moments later, Ingrid Betancourt climbed the stairs, entered the cabin, and a mother and her two children, separated for six years, were finally reunited. Those are some of the powerful images from this big story. Stay with RCN News on CanalRCN.com for the latest, and look for regular updates on the biggest news from Colombia in English, right here. With the very first RCN newscast in English for the Internet, I'm Brian Andrews reporting from Bogota.